Right. And where are we? We're at building 20, which is our uh, dev lab building. And basically what my team does is we do every month, we do what's called a dev lab. And we bring in uh, uh, about you know, 15 to 30 people um, every month. Um, and uh, the dev lab building is kind of special because it's a place that we can sort of show stuff that isn't released yet, talk about for the very first time new products. And uh, everyone who attends gets, gets their own office with their own lock on the door and their own computer with those bits installed. And uh, it's a great place to kind of have uh, you know, hallway conversations about the product, make it better and stuff, and I, uh, get feedback. Um, how do you get to be in, invited to Building 20? Uh, you send me an email. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, do you want to? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone out there, that's not necessarily true. Um, uh, basically, uh, one of the things, the, uh, different teams invite people. And so for our team, um, we kind of look for a, a mix and blend of people. And so sometimes we look at enterprise customers, sometimes we look at um, uh, community activists, sometimes we look at um, academics, sometimes we look at new people coming to the, you know, to the platform. Um, we've even, on my team, we've had, uh, we actually had a PHP Influentials um, dev lab uh, about 18 months ago, and we sort of said, hey, let's find, um, you know, the people who are most active in the PHP community and give them three days or two days, I think it was, of uh, ASP.NET content, take them out to dinner, and, uh, you know, uh, not, not necessarily try to convert people, but, you know, basically have a good conversation and show them our stuff, and I think everyone left, uh, you know, pretty impressed with what we were building, and, and uh you know, had a lot of good conversations, and you know, it was a great way to kind of uh, meet new people and you know make ultimately the products what, a lot better. Why don't you t take us in and give us some stories? Sure. So this how, is long, how long have you worked at Microsoft, by the way? Uh, this is my going on my eighth year. So, eighth year. Yeah. Okay. So a little. So while. you have eight years of stories of building time. Yeah. So. All right. We'll we'll try to get that in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, the, the biggest. Uh, um, one of the biggest memories of Building 20 is uh, the .NET framework and uh, ASP.NET B1. Um, this is basically the place that we took. Uh, um, There's a class going on. Yeah. There's a class going on, so you can peek in here right now. This is our ASP Insider. So this is 20 or 30 really influential uh, ASP.NET community folks. So anyway, so uh, in B1 of uh, the .NET framework, this is where we took people to show them for the first time. and. Uh, it was fun kind of showing people, hey, we're building this thing called the Comet Language Runtime, which is managed code and new languages and garbage collection. And, you know, you never fail to get people's jaws to drop. Uh, and then right. here, you're doing what? And, uh, and so it's a lot of fun memories of shell-shocked people going back to their offices going, oh my god, they're doing all this stuff. How did I know? Not now. Right. So this is what a, an office looks like. Okay. So everyone here, this is Steve Key's office. He's uh, visiting our ASP.NET lab. Um, and you get a key lock in your own. Yeah, you get a key lock so you can store your stuff there and you get a couple machines uh, and so uh, with, with the latest bits installed. And so they have uh, right now the latest build of Whidbey, so uh, early version um, that's on the beta 2 build that hasn't been released yet. And then also they're getting IS7 today. So do you ask, do you ask visiting developers to actually build something here, and do you sit over their shoulder and watch how they're struggling we'll that. with that? Yeah, or? I mean, basically the format that, that my team uses is we'll do that main room that we saw a little bit earlier. Um, we'll do presentations uh, pretty much throughout the day, about an hour and a half each, try to make it interact. So we try to keep it to be 20 to 25 people total. Uh, occasionally you get up to 30, but you want to keep it small so that people just fire away questions. And so the slides and the demos and the, the presentation itself hopefully is informative, but it's more the conversations that we're looking for. Right. And then the thing that we try to do is have um, you know, people in their, in their offices, and so you can see these are all offices for this lab, you know, be able to go back you know, during break and schedule time in where uh, they can go try out the bits they just heard about, come back and then tell us, hey, you know, it's all wrong or hopefully it's all right, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know, get some really good conversations going. Okay. And these are pretty nice machines in here. And Got yeah, they do. Around. They do a great job. It's um, you know all really high-end machines and and uh, lab organizers. You can basically say that they run this building. You can say, hey, I want this build. I want this drop of software. They'll go ahead and image it and you know, get you you know 40 or 50 machines that have it all installed. Right. Can you think of a feature that would came directly out of conversations in the hallway here? Or, oh, or, lots. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's there's lots of uh, uh, features. We showed the first version of Whidbey 
um, at this lab, I think two years ago. Wow. So it was it was literally we were about three months into the product, and so you know lots of feedback in terms of um, you know what providers we needed to build in terms of uh, for like membership and role management. Um, some really good feedback in terms of how master pages and themes should work, and uh, you know usually what I find is you get two or three nuggets or real gems from each dev lab that you do, and you never know where it's going to come from. But you know if you get 20 people really get them excited you know people get their own card key so they can come in before eight and they can stay here in some cases you know people will be here till two or three in the morning um, you know playing with the latest bits and you know they'll give you great feedback or there's a around the corner here let's go sure the I heard um, there's an Xbox room somewhere I heard that too <laughs> this, this is the new one so you see actually um, the names of the different rooms are actually based on code names. The Denali was ASP10, Chicago's Windows 95, Lightning was the codename for the CLR, Sphinx for SQL, Thunder for VB, Whistler um, for Windows, XP. XP. XP, and then the Xbox room, which needs no introduction. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, there's kitchen food all the time, and one of the things that we'll do this afternoon, we'll actually have a barbecue. And so we'll set up a barbecue pit just outside, and uh, uh, you know, a lot of it is, is just the hallway conversations and getting a whole bunch of fun people together that can chat about technology, products, life in general. Right. You know, that's where some of the best stories come from. So I think the Xbox room is this way. Do you have any uh, good stories to tell us from Billing Twenty? Drunken parties. <laughs> <laughs> Been, Actually, they're pretty pretty uh, straightforward here. I've I been locked out one or two times. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, we're, um, thankfully, my car key now lets me in at all hours. Uh, um, I don't know where we're going. I actually don't know where we're going either. I, uh, we mix that clock. <laughs> so there's a lot of... I think the, 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 the most fun part was with V1, um, where you, know, you had people that, you know, in some cases, they'd sleep here. They were so excited about it. and. Uh, Ah. And uh, yeah, just seeing that energy was really cool. Very nice and green. Yeah. The camera's not that thing. Okay. So I think they're trying to for tonight get Halo 2 or a demo of Halo 2. Oh, are we allowed to talk about that? <laughs> I, well, I, we're going to be able to show the screenshot of it. But, uh, right. I know people are all excited about it. And this is the data center uh, where uh, you know, everyone pretty much gets a. Uh, um, you know, storage, and it also means that we can do basically like high-end server testing. So a lot of times with dev labs, we'll have customers bring in their applications and be able to set it up, and we'll be able to try to replicate problems or, or test upgrades or do things like that. Right. Now, does everybody who visits Building 20, they have to sign a non-disclosure agreement, right? Um, depends. Uh, depends on the, the, the different type of dev lab. So um, in some cases we did, obviously, like the PHP Influential Summit, we don't. Um, and uh, it depends a lot of it also on, you know, what state of the information is, is public. Right. So today we're going to be handing out IS7 bits. Um, you know, we're not even at the alpha stage there. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, that, that will happen in EA. Okay. Um, but, you know, one of the benefits is you get to hear about stuff. Um, you know, they'll literally be the first people ever outside of my team to actually see the bits. Right. So they'll have seen it even before uh, you know, some of the execs in our management chain, which is kind of fun. Wow. But, uh, you know, ultimately you build a much better product that way. Um, what's some other other reasons to bring people here? What, is, what, do you, what does Microsoft get out of um, bringing customers from around the world to Building 20? Well, the, best, the best thing, so the thing that we find with my team, so again, we, we try to do one dev lab every month of about 15, 20 people. And um, <laughs> you know, the, the, thing, the thing that we get out of it is, uh, you know, you get a diverse set of folks, and yeah, I'm trying uh, to get away from them. they all get a chance to. Yeah. So if you get a diverse set of folks, and you know, if you're using the bits uh, for three days, and you're really kind of immersing yourself, you know, you'll get feedback on how to make them better. Right. And if uh, you know, hopefully you listen to that and incorporate that into the product. You know, over time, you see this really nice iterative cycle, uh, even more so than what you typically get when you're online working with a community, which is something else we do, where. Uh, you know, over a beer at the barbecue or when we take people out to dinner, um, you know, th there's a gem or two of uh, ideas that can really make a product dramatically better. And 
you know, that, that's that's for, for my team the main reason we do the dev labs. It what's, never fails every single dev lab to get one or two of those great ideas. What's the one or two things that you'd like to see the community tell you? Uh, in other words, uh, you in, know, in a dev lab or even, or even yeah. outside, because this being, you know, watched sure. by probably a few thousand people. You know, so not everybody can come to Building 20. Right. Is there a way to do a virtual Building 20? You know, or so more people can participate? Well, one of the things that we do, um, we do a couple things. So one is uh, definitely participate in the community. Um, we do a dev lab for all of what we call our ASP insiders and our MVPs. And so one of the things that we do is basically, you know, the way you can get invited to the dev lab automatically is if you're recognized by your peers in the community um, and are nominated as an ESP Insider or an MVP. And so the ESP Insiders are, true, are, are purely peer-based, so Microsoft doesn't select anyone who's in that group. Um, and it's basically based on, hey, if you help out a lot of people in the community, you'll get nominated. And um, you know, so that, that's one immediate way to, to guarantee you get invited. Right. Um, so be, then, be helpful is one thing. Be helpful, you know, answer people's questions in the forums, the news groups. Uh, you know, be active in user groups, and uh, uh, you know that, that's one way to get definitely get uh, nominated. Right. Uh, the other way then is uh, you know is, is to participate in the online community. There's a lot of you know Wibby forums that we have set up on www.asp.net. Um, there's blogs um, that you can sign up for, and um, you know our, our goal is to have kind of a virtual community, so you don't have to be in Redmond in order to participate in the design of the product. Right. You know, give feedback, play with the bits early. You know, tell us how to make it better. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you don't like, and um, you know, you'll be you'll be part of that virtual community. And, uh, and one of the things that we're trying to do is be, you know, as open as we can and share stuff as early as we can, not just with Dev Lab attendees, but with everyone. Right. Do we do the uh, building twenties around the world, or is is there only one building twenty? There are. Um, we do Dev Labs around the world. Um, uh, we do a lot more in Red. So a lot of people will come from around the world to Red. Especially early in the product cycle, um, but I, I typically, uh, my team, we, we do an event typically in Europe, um, uh, at least once a year, uh, or we'll pick a, a place whether it's London, whether it's Germany. We've done it in Barcelona in the past, and uh, and do kind of a mini dev lab for a day or two. Okay. Um, and then the other thing that, that that my team does is we we basically release uh, a build a week, or sometimes a build multiple times a week, while Whitby's going on. And so we have. Couple hundred people around the world that uh, get da daily notifications, and we have a terminal server system set up so people can try it out. We have VPC images that you can download, so you don't have to wipe your machine. And then there's the raw bits, and so uh, it's not quite the, a dev lab, but you know you get a listserv of very active folks going on, and you get a build every couple of days. Um, you know, it's a great way to you know, be clued in on the inside of the project. Great. Thanks for showing us around cool. Building 20. And, Thanks. Uh, we're we're, we're looking forward to attend. <laughs> well, let's, let's sit down for an interview soon and talk about ISM. Cool. That'd be great. That'd be cool.